happy morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you are listening to this podcast episode. You might hear a little bit of a difference in this episode. Does my voice sound better? Do I sound clearer? Do I sound like I am nestled in your ear? Well, that's because I decided to try and learn how exactly do I use this mic that I have. I use a Blue Yeti mic, and it's a wonderful mic, but I have been using it the wrong way. And I think now I sound better, and you won't have to crank up your volume to hear me better, which is really nice, because the intro to this episode sounds louder than most of the content of the episodes in the past. And now it sounds a little bit more evened out, hopefully. Give me feedback. Hopefully don't hear feedback in the background, but give me the good feedback, all the good feedback. Thank you. So today, I want to talk about psychic downloads. And yes, my story has to do with a Disney song. One morning, um, I, it was probably around 5 a.m. that I had woken up from this dream. I dreamt that I was watching The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the Disney animated movie from the 90s, which is one of my favorite movies, and I love the soundtrack. And one of the songs from the movie was playing in the stream, and I was watching the movie play out. I woke up from the dream. It's like 4 or 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. I'm like, okay, that was nice. I heard one of my favorite Disney songs. Go back to sleep. I wake up from my workday, and I go on Instagram. A friend of mine posts on Instagram on a story the announcement by Disney that they are remastering the soundtrack of The Hunchback of Notre Dame and that it was released that day. Or if I'm wrong, it was released within the last, the, within the week prior or like the couple days before that. Now, I had heard nothing about the remastering of this soundtrack or it being re released, never heard it. So I don't know <laughs> how I got that download. And then I saw on Instagram within a few hours this story from my friend on their Instagram page. So it happens often that I'll think of a song in my head or it'll just pop up in my head or I will um, just like hum to it randomly one day and then it will come up on the radio within two days or come up in a TV commercial. Happens with movies too. There was one day I was thinking of the movie Shrek. Now the movie Shrek hasn't been on TV. I feel like it's not on TV that often. I, I don't, Also, I don't watch TV very much. I... I was just thinking about it one day. Like, oh, what a cute movie. I should watch it sometime. And I turn on the TV within two days, and Shrek is playing on, like, AMC or A&E or something like that. Like, a really random channel at a random time of the day. What also happens is I will think of a Broadway play or a book or a novel, which is also a book. And I'll think, oh, that Broadway play should be made into a movie. Or that novel should be made into a book. Wouldn't that be so cool? And then within the year or within the half year, it's like a really obscure piece of work. And then within a certain amount of time, I learn that there is in fact a movie based on this play or based on this novel or this musical that is in production. It's like, um, this is weird. Now, I don't know if these are all signs that I am the most interesting psychic in the world that is predicting when a Broadway play is going to become a movie. And if I did, I'm sure people would be scrambling to ask me when the next movie musical is coming out and what it's going to be. But that is not the case. But I feel like I can only explain to you how weird it feels when I do think of things or things pop up in my head and then they come up later. And they're always a thing. It's always a thing that is either not popular anymore or it's not trending right now or it hasn't been talked about in a while or it's a movie I haven't watched forever or a song I haven't heard forever in a public space. It just happens. And I'm wondering if you listening, this happens to you too. And if it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you don't have any kind of intuitive or psychic ability. But I'm going to keep saying this and it's going to sound annoying like a broken record because you see it on my Instagram. You've heard me say it here before. When odd things or coincidences or extraordinary things happen, take note of them. Don't think that everything's just a coincidence because sometimes things are a little bit too odd to be a coincidence. Haven't you ever experienced that where you're like, okay, that's weird. That's really weird. Those are signs from the universe. And when I noticed the coincidence between what I'm thinking in my head and then what I see coming up on TV or on the radio, 
I thought those must be signs in the universe just telling me that I'm okay, I'm on the right path, or I'm where I'm supposed to be right now. And it's really the latter. I When those things happen, that's when I tell myself, okay, that's the sign from the universe that I am where I'm supposed to be right now because I am in this moment hearing the song right now, in this moment seeing that movie listed on the TV right now. And then I thank the universe. I also, I mean, I thank spirit, I thank God. You can thank the universe, you can thank source, whatever you want to call it. And I've noticed the more that I thanked my higher power in those moments, the more often those moments happened within short periods of time. I haven't had a moment like that happen in a while, but there was a time when I kept thanking the universe every time they would come up and then it kept happening and happening and happening. It was so interesting and so odd. So I really recommend to you that when odd coincidences happen, just say, thank you, universe. I see you. Thank you. I'm where I am supposed to be right now. Maybe it sucks where I am right now. Maybe I feel like I shouldn't be here right now, but I guess you're trying to tell me I should be in this place right now or in this moment or with this person right now. Thank you. And see what happens. And hey, you can tell me, Juan, nothing happened. Well, then maybe it was just that moment that was supposed to tell you something about your place in the universe. And that's all the proof you need at this moment. Maybe for me, I mean, it hasn't happened in a while. And I think I know why. Ever since I started on this journey of developing my mediumship abilities and doing tarot card readings for people, I've noticed that in the first few months of me developing these skills, I got more of these signs, as well as right before I discovered that I had these skills. Now that I am more in the weeds of putting myself out there with these skills, doing the podcast, doing readings with people, doing lives of people with tarot, I see less of these signs and I, I want to see them. I want to experience these signs. And I'm like, hey, can you give me signs? But in reality, like, I, I, if I'm being honest with myself and with you, I really don't need signs right now to tell me that I am where I'm supposed to be. And I think that's why I'm not seeing them. So I think when I get to a place again where the universe feels the need to tell me you are on the right path, it will do what it needs to do and it will send me those signs. But for now, I guess I don't need them. And with that being said, don't be so hard on yourself if you feel like you don't get signs from the universe. Signs can come in different ways. Signs can be some part of nature that you see out of nowhere that is oddly placed. It could be um, a symbol that you associate with a loved one. It can be that song you hear on the radio that was that special song between you and your best friend or you and your loved one, you and your parent, you and your sibling, whoever might be departed on the other side. Those are all signs. I highly recommend reading the book Signs by Laura Lynn Jackson. It was a wonderful book. And I can't tell you how many times people have told me about the signs they've received from departed loved ones, including in my own family, the signs people in my own family have received from loved ones. And for me, I feel, I, I consciously don't feel like I, there is a, a passing of someone that has left me feeling like, I have no closure. So I don't feel like I'm meant, at least at this point in my life, to get signs from departed loved ones on the other side, unless there is some kind of message they need to tell me at this moment, but that has not happened. I Believe me, I ask for signs from my grandparents. I receive them sometimes. Um, I have received one sign from my grandmother, and I'll tell you about it. I was walking in Brooklyn, and... I wasn't paying close attention to who was crossing paths with me, but I just could recognize based on my peripheral vision that it was a young woman around my age, maybe a little younger. So she passes me and I smell this perfume and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is Ronnie's perfume. And Ronnie was my, I call her my grandmother, but she, um, she wasn't blood related to me, but to me, she was a grandmother figure for me. And I absolutely adored her. And she wore this perfume that was like perfume. She's probably worn since the 50s or the 60s or 70s, like really old smelling perfume. And here's this young girl or young woman who walks by me and I smell it. And I have never smelled this perfume on anybody else. Here's another sign. My grandfather had a very musky smell to him that also had a scent of mothballs (laughs) in the scent. And when I would hug him, uh, I could just smell the mothballs and his also his like just his muskiness. And um, it's a smell that I miss a lot. 
So I picked up a rental car one day, and I've rented many cars in my life to go see family, to go take trips, road trips, and this is one of many instances where I've had to rent a car. And I pick up the car, and I get into it, and I smell my grandfather big time. I have never, ever, 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 ever smelled a rental car that had that scent, ever. I've been in many rental cars, and none of them have ever smelled like musky and mothballs ever so i'm phone my mom as i'm driving out from the rental car place i go mom i smell noni that was my nickname for him i smell noni and uh in terms of the word noni which is italian for grandma that's a long story that i will tell another day if i have the time but i told her i smell noni and when i got to her home to my parents home i told her smell the car she goes oh my gosh it does smell like him that's so weird To me, that was a sign from my grandfather, who I have felt very close to since he passed and whose passing, I feel, really opened me up to these abilities even more. So when you get those signs, embrace them, whether it be a Disney song, whether it be a song on the radio, whether it be a movie that is randomly playing on the TV when it usually never does. And maybe any of those things could be related to people that you love that are on the other side. Maybe they're not. Whichever it may be, when you feel something different when these things happen because maybe they feel out of place or they feel coincidental or extraordinary, thank the universe. Thank your higher power. Thank your spirit guides. Thank spirit. Thank whatever it is that you believe is bigger than you. Thank your soul. If you don't believe in anything outside of you, thank your soul. Thank your spirit. Thank your mind. Thank your brain. Whatever it is you want to thank. Thank yourself for noticing it. Just express gratitude and see if those things happen more often. I can't guarantee that for you. I am not God. I can't tell you that those things are going to happen to you more often, but I know they they happened for me more often in moments when I needed to get a sign. I didn't know that I wanted the signs. To be honest, I I wasn't looking for signs, but they happened. And now I look back and I realize I needed those signs at that moment. And that's the other thing. Signs will come to us sometimes when we need them, not always when we want them. Sometimes we want signs, but we don't need them at that very moment. And more often than not, I feel like people get signs when they don't expect them. So this was a short podcast episode today. So the last thing I'm going to say, as I said in my last podcast episode, if you really like this podcast, Third Eyesight, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, leave a review, share it with your loved ones, and Let me know if you have any feedback about the podcast and anything you want me to cover that you're interested in hearing about. That is all for today on Third Eyesight, and I'll see you next time on the podcast. If you have a question or topic you want me to cover on Third Eyesight, head to my website, juanfranciscospirit.com slash contact and send a message my way. If you really enjoyed this episode, leave a review wherever you listen. I'd really appreciate it.